And you guys are gonna see finally how we do the snatch. The famous snatch. The famous snatch. This is my home. Oh my gosh, Welcome. oh wait, I remember what we're doing. We are doing the Bella and Ebony show. The Bella and Ebony show. For Vogue magazine. Yay. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a how-to. On an updo. First and foremost, what we usually do. The decks. The decks. The famous Bella creative decks. I think we should do a bang. Yeah. There's that thing that I loved. I mean, I wanted to go like here with makeup. I wanted Aww. to get uh... We wanted a little prosthetic tongue. <laughs> a prosthetic it. tongue. I don't know yeah. if Vogue was gonna allow this. Well, I think first we're gonna start off by just like quickly trying on the pieces, seeing if they inspire us. Basically, I've gone to already two jobs today. Yeah. So my hair is not really giving much. She's giving working girl. She's giving working girl. Yeah. She's giving like hair mask she's giving. But also she's ready for her snatch. Exactly. For so many years when I was working, I was so exhausted. And so when I would be like doing, you know, 14 yeah, yeah, yeah. hour days and I would have to go to an event at night, I'm just like, pull my hair back. Like I cannot. She gotta stay awake. I, I had or... to stay awake and I couldn't like even have emotion. I couldn't smile, anything like that. So like when I would do with the snatch, my face would just stay like this. She's just present. I would just be like, <laughs> she's there. We don't know what emotion she's feeling because she can't really move her face. Right now, I'm still just prepping um, the base of Bella's hair. Basically, I'm just ironing out all the kinks. We met when I was like a baby assistant. That was like the first time we met. I know, and I just... My Jimmy days. I just knew. I just Jimmy knew he was gonna be a star. I, I didn't know. <laughs> we just fell in love immediately the first time we met. And, you know, with that kind of creativity and talent and uh, mixed with hard work and great work ethic, it's a winning combination and, and you've got it, baby. And I'm so proud of you and all that you've done. Oh my God, we're only like 10 seconds I in and you're already gonna <laughs> make me cry. <laughs> I love working, so fun. Cause we get to like hang out with our friends and like create our own little world and get lost in a fantasy and like, That's what it is. how is that not amazing? That's the beauty of it all is like, we're all a bit mentally unstable, so we love yeah. art a bit more than Exactly. Because <laughs> it, really, it makes no. you- No. <laughs> tea. It makes you really feel something, and that's yeah. what I, we crave, you know, the serotonin of like, putting on a wig made by my one of my best friends, like, just yeah. because those little moments, you know, they matter to me, and I know they matter to they you. Matter. You have had so many transformations, yeah. so many characters, so many, like, stories. Should we do the snatch? Oh yeah. yeah, okay. Bring it to the snatch. Snatchy! Yeah. You taught me how to do the snatch, honestly. Because I was taught how to do a snatch, but you taught me how to do a snatch. Snatch. So the snatchola is happening as we speak. And what do I always say, Anthony? Use your Jesus. muscles. She says tighter, 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 tighter. Tighter, tighter, tighter. <laughs> I don't do my snatch so much anymore, but yeah, here we are. Yeah, you've wearing your hair down a lot lately. I know. She's but a, the, the snatch is so good. She's hard to avoid. I swear on my tombstone when I'm when I pass, it's literally gonna say like tighter. Tighter. <laughs> I'm gonna spend some time cleaning up the grain now. For me, like my hair heroes. Drag queens. Yes. I learned so much from them. Like when I first moved to New York, I was like homeless basically and was like taken in by a house of drag queens that lived in Williamsburg. And they literally taught me like everything I know about wigs and like the best advice. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and give her a chop. Oh, I also want those diamonds just for a little, a little oh, razzle dazzle. dazzle. What the? <laughs> It's almost like we hang out all the time. Okay, so basically like almost two years ago, I went to Ebony and I was like, Ev, I want to dye my hair red, like bright red. And unfortunately being in contracts and stuff, I wasn't really allowed to dye my hair. So about a year ago, I went absolutely mentally Wicked. Oh, is this when I came over? Yes. Yeah, okay. And I bleached my hair and I was like, make a sunset on my head. 
I was giving absolute spiral, but Ebony, guess what he did? He got in the car and he came to my house and he dyed my whole head. And I think I kept it for like two weeks because I had gone You're away. like, wait, I can't do this. Uh, I looked like a, a troll's doll that had been left behind. Which is a look um, and it's hot in its own way. Yeah. It's so funny putting a fake baby Oh. Beauty school dropout. I low key did theater when I was younger. Really? I, I did hairspray. Cute. That's from hairspray, right? No, 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 no that's from Greece. Greece. I also Wait, did Wait, what like part did you play? Were you Sandy? Gigi was obviously Sandy. Oh, hairspray, I was Penny. Cute. Speaking of hairspray, I just worked with John Waters and that was such a gag. I was like, holy shit. Look at you. He is a hair hero. Crazy. Like all of like the hair in his films is like insane. insane. I literally would do this. Yeah. And then pull it around here. And then look, wait, this is kind of going to be sick. Wait, so it's going to cross on the top like this. And then like, honestly. Are you going rogue? Are you doing your own hair right now? Oh my God, yeah. I'm, you're fitting punk. To, these are all, all paid actors. <laughs> that's an actor. That's an actor. No. That's an actor. <laughs> I'm an actor. So <laughs> we're done. Where's she going? Um, She's going to St. Mark's Street. Yeah. Every single time Ebony and I work together, I'm like, okay, so you see it, right? And he's like, Bella, this looks like somebody, like a, a bird just landed on your head. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, but you have to trust the process. No, no, I understand, like, I understand. You guys are gonna understand in a second. Ooh. A challenge. Should we do like chopped but hair? I don't even know what chopped hair okay, is. Okay, you don't Sorry. watch the Food Network? I'm a vegan. <laughs> Me, like at home, regular is Bella. The person that like everybody else sees, which I don't know her at all. Who is she? She's Belinda. She's Belinda. So she's like, you know. Belinda's she, with us. Belinda's coming out right now. Yeah, You'll she, be able to tell. Like once I'm in my outfit, Belinda's here, Bella's gone. She died. And then when I go home and shower and lay in bed, I'm back to Bella. And it's, whoa, a crazy experience. Yeah, because for so long I would say it, and I know it sounds so annoying, but it's like I hate it. I didn't want to be myself. So like the reason I love art in general and I love film and photography, because I love to see people be able to change characters, like be something they're not or be something they dreamed or wished to be. Oh, I love her. This yeah. Little, this little fluke. I know. Um, this is how we work. It's like so random. Like we had a whole plan girls. and now I'm just like in yeah. my world. This is nothing what we spoke about, which yeah. is the best part. I couldn't even connect with people because I was in a different city or place every single day. So like with a new set of people, I'd be like in Greece with literally random people I don't know. And then the next day I would be able to be maybe with Ebony, but then the next day I'm in Paris, then the next day I'm in China, the next day I'm in Dubai. And it was like constantly different energies. So I was really never able to have those moments where I was like, oh, these are my people. But I think that that's like why we connect so much is like you almost find just the people that are like-minded, um, have the same like, you know. Same thing, <gasps> the thing. Yeah, like I don't have all the tools yet, you know what I mean? I'm just like learning still. And like, I don't know, you know, I can say meditation, I can say workout and like eat well and all of these things. And it's like, at the end of the day, like, unless you really give yourself the same energy that you give to everybody else and to all the other people that you support on a regular basis, like it's just not gonna happen. And so I had to, that's why I took last season off. That's why after quarantine and the first round of COVID, I made a conscious decision to like start saying no to things. And I hate saying no because I love to make my friends happy. Now I've gotten to the point where like the people I work for are my friends and it's like if I let them down I feel like I'm letting everyone down that I'm letting myself down but I started to realize that like I had to put myself first and I realized too like if I didn't start now of have like putting myself first there was going to be a point where I was just going to be like not able to do anything anymore at all and hate everything and hate my life and myself and all of that stuff so it's a privilege within itself to be able to say like I'm gonna stop working for a second. I realized after eight years of like, really, you know, never taking a break or a second to like 
be myself. I used to do interviews and people would ask me like, what's your favorite like food or what's your favorite color or what's your favorite book? And I would literally be like, I have no uh, idea. Yeah. I don't know who I am. I couldn't have answered a question about myself to save my life because like I left high school just pretty much like becoming everyone's version of me that they wanted. But then I realized that I was never able to find myself within myself because I was just looking for myself and other people's versions of me. Instead of just like being like, what do you want to do today, Bella? If anybody wants to get into modeling, I want you to get to know yourself first before you, before you get into this. Like, I want you to be confident within yourself. Keep your own conscience and keep your own creativity and keep your own style. Keep your, if you're weird, be keep weirder. It weird. Keep it weird. Like, yeah. can we put like a hashtag, keep it weird? All right, now we're gonna be doing some finishing touches together. Cause Bella's about to cut her hair. <laughs> I can't help myself. She's having fun. Honestly, after today, I feel like you can be my assistant. Okay, like, I'll just be did like, you guys get that on film? Because he's never allowed me <laughs> to like, say that. You know what, go, go to Bella, she'll cut your hair. I'll send all the models down your way. Have you ever had to do another girl's hair like at a show or something? It's actually the funniest photo of me doing Stella Maxwell's hair backstage at Moschino. What, okay, and what's the tea? There was no tea, I was just giving everyone snatches. Okay, shit. Because we were all doing wigs and we all had to go somewhere afterwards. And you oh. know I can do a snatch on anyone, so I had like a lineup of just girls wanting to do snatches. <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> okay, this is the look. This is the look. This is who we are, this is who we're gonna be. We're this keeping it weird. We're keeping it weird all damn day. We're giving editorial today. We're giving old school fashion. We're giving randomness. Ebony! Woohoo! Yay, yay, yay! Round of applause, my baby! Thank you for being here, Ed. Thank you. It's been a Bye. long week, but we'll be back soon on the Ebony, Ebony and Bella, Bella Show! Show.